And if he doesn't make it, then I could be all alone with my children. But that's the hard part for me. That's the hard part for me. I don't know that it is coming back. Throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, hospitals around the world have been overwhelmed and healthcare workers have been tirelessly trying to keep up with people needing care. Now we're getting a rare glimpse inside a COVID ward in the ICU here at Surrey Memorial Hospital. And a warning, some people may find this story hard to watch. I've been with him since I was 17. <laughs> We've been together all our, most of our lives together. 49-year-old Joseph Trudeau has been here at Surrey Memorial Hospital for months. The father of five was diagnosed with lymphoma in January. And after his first treatment, he and his family contracted COVID-19. Shortly after he tested positive for the virus, Trudeau had to be moved into intensive care. He's now on a ventilator and continues to test positive for COVID-19. My husband got sick so fast that he was a 240 pound man that now is like skinny scale pale man. Manjo Kaur is a nurse in the ICU. Joseph Trudeau is her patient. She says the most difficult part about treating Joseph is that she can't allow his family to visit him. Them not being able to come in and physically see him. Um, I think that is quite difficult to struggle with, especially if they're awake and alert. Um, FaceTime is one thing, but I think nothing replaces physical presence, touch, and the voices of your loved ones. So that's quite difficult. Carla Trudeau was able to FaceTime her husband earlier this week, but she says the man on the screen felt like a stranger. Seeing him there, like, lifeless. He would just look and, and look at his eyes and just gaze and gaze. And I was just like, wow. I'm looking at this man that I don't even, don't even recognize because he's such a, he has such a good spirit. As public health restrictions gradually begin to ease in BC, doctors here are wary. Staff have been overworked for more than a year now. Dr. Greg Halgen is head of critical care at Surrey Memorial Hospital. As vaccination rates grow by the day, he hesitates to breathe any sigh of relief just yet. You know, it's the hope that kills you. Um, I don't know that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm encouraged, but I don't think we can let our guard down. Uh, we've seen time and time again these lulls and we all get our hopes up. Uh, we let our guard down and then we find ourselves in another wave. Uh, the virus isn't gone. It's, uh, it's still producing variants of concern. Um, and, you know, from our perspective, we're just always trying to be one step ahead. For Carla Trudeau, it's been one devastating blow after another. In addition to everything going on with her husband, on May 9th, there was an arson fire at the home they were renting in Surrey. She and her family are now living with a relative in Coquitlam. But of course, her greatest concern continues to be the health of her husband. She says she wakes up every day with the worry he didn't survive the night. It's awful. Feeling. <laughs> That's the hardest part for me. Like, I live day by day thinking, okay, oh, am I going to get that call today? No. Oh, thank God, Lord Jesus. And then another night, it's the same situation. I'm like, oh, I don't know. It's Trudeau hopes her story will open people's eyes to the severity of COVID-19 and that it encourages everyone to do their part. And I want just people to know that it's real. In Surrey, Ashley Burr. City News.